Good morning. Welcome back to the show. We are at T-Zone Vibration this morning on Saint Laurent, and we're about to get an ab workout using these machines. And if you missed what we were talking about earlier, Roger's going to explain to us how this was originally it's a concept thought up by the space program in Russia. Yeah, it's when you're in space with the no gravity, it's your muscles tend to go into atrophy because you're not working them, and your bone density. Uh, you get less bone density because there's nothing acting on your bones. Mm. So they started implementing a kind of vibration technology to keep their muscles working so that they can stay up in space longer and to make sure that their bone density stays strong. So these machines are really good for uh, bone density as well, people with osteopenia or osteoporosis concerns. Mm -hmm. uh, it's great for that. Wow. Oh, so NASA adopted it and... Uh... Yeah, and then it ended up getting into the Olympic programs in the 70s and yeah. just started going from there and going into professional sports and now it's becoming available to everybody. Yeah, a lot of professional athletes and celebrities using these now, getting the word out about it uh, to people like us. Um, now, how do we do an ab workout with this? Uh, an ab workout, there's a few different things and I'll show you everything from a very simple basic kind of starting, okay. which is just kind of getting stretching and I'll bring you up a little bit okay. and to we'll more advanced and okay. it's just all about triggering different muscles, getting them activated. <laughs> it's so it's, it's such a strange feeling that you have to get used to, your whole body time. rocking like that side to side. So okay. it's something as simple like when someone just comes in and they're really not used to exercising or they have let's say a lot of lower back pain, yeah. we're going to start it simple just to kind of get their muscles starting. Yeah. And it's as simple as put one hand straight at your side and one hand straight up in the air and keep it as straight as you can and stretch mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. and just lean into the side and keep that arm straight just till you feel pull <laughs> in your side and it's just getting that stretch out and it's just right. starting yeah uh, just getting the muscles going and getting everything loosened up okay and there's a few other simple kind of stretch things you can do to get your muscles working in until you get to the point where you feel you can start doing more of the exercises yeah okay because I mean so I mean your clients come in all you know physical conditions absolutely and all ages so some might have to you know intro into the ab workouts exactly. if they've never and done a lot of one people aren't used to it yeah okay so where do we graduate from there Perfect. Well, the favorite and the probably the most effective one is the V-sit, okay. which you're starting to do. Yeah, a little before. earlier. Okay. Yeah, and it's just sitting and keep your back straight. And anytime you do exercises, you want to keep it flexed and you want to breathe. Yeah. A lot of people do that, and they hold and tense, and you want to get the oxygen into your body and into yeah. your muscles and doing that. And if you want to start targeting other areas while you're doing that, yeah. it's a simple matter of different leans. So when you're going, if you want to grab onto the side here for support, okay. and you can kick a leg out to the side and lean in towards me. Okay. And it just starts angling into getting some of your side abs, and you just switch it up okay. slowly as you go. Uh, you and when that starts to get easier, and you improve really quickly as you do the exercises, yeah. there are the more advanced ones, which is plank. like the plank. And then there's different variations on the plank. So as you're holding that, and again, keep your stomach tight, and that takes the pressure off your back, yeah. and breathe while you're doing it. And you can do a slow rocking motion, motion forward and back. So up and, on your toes. Yeah, and, and just do it, and it's that slow motion forward and back, and you're just starting to activate different muscles within your stomach. Right. And then you can even add a bit of a dip. So if you want, you just put a little bit of a twist and dip your hip down a little bit, and then bring it up yeah. slowly and go down the other side. And it just starts activating in your obliques and in your sides. <laughs> <laughs> the plank is hard enough to do without the rocking motion. That's good. It, it just, just amplifies the workout. That's yeah. exactly. The whole idea is just to help make you tired quicker. Okay. So, so many different ways, so many different success stories that your clients have had from, you know, achieving those, uh, you know, muscle uh, toning goals. Yeah. Uh, but also, like we said, I mean, clients with MS, clients that have had strokes, seeing yeah, dramatic a lot results. Of just the extra blood circulation and the extra balance and the extra muscle. Yeah. Uh, building the supporting muscles. It just helps so many different people. Okay, we're going to talk a little bit more about that, talk about how you can use it for massage as well. Uh, runners, athletes, and how they use it to uh, remove lactic acid after a big workout, things like that. T-Zone Vibration. We're at the location on Saint Laurent. There are three in Ottawa. Check out the website for more. We'll be right back. You're on the phone with your girlfriend. She's upset.